Hi, fourth level. Welcome to the very first online video instruction course. And this is the first, the very first, because I have not yet made a fifth or sixth level lesson video yet. So you truly are the first. Um, this lesson, you will need your math composition notebook. Hopefully, you took home your math composition notebook as suggested, and you can continue making notes in there. However, if you do not have your math composition notebook, it is not the end of the world. Simply use loose leaf or another notebook that you have lying around, uh, something where you can keep your papers together. So during these videos, we will take notes. The notes will help you with the work that is uh, assigned. Sometime today, if you're reviewing this on Wednesday, the school will be available open and available for parents to pick up a work pack. The work pack will include work uh, that will come. You do not need to do all of the work all at once. This is spaced out and we're not going to overload you with a ton of stuff. However, we are moving forward with our curriculum and this is something that fourth level uh, is working towards. So. If you do not already have your science, your math composition notebook or something to write with or write on, please pause the video now and go get it. Oh wait. Okay, time is up. So the first thing we're going to talk about, a number set is a collection of numbers assembled in numerical order inside um, what are technically called curly brackets. And a number set looks a little like this. This is a number set. The numbers we have are in numerical order, 3, 10, 20. They are separated by commas and are enclosed in a curly bracket. This is what a number set looks like, and this particular set only has three numbers in it. We're going to be using that number set shortly, and we are actually going to be using number sets for the next several lessons. The first lesson that we're going to do with the number set is to calculate that number set's mean. M E A N, mean. It's not that kind of mean. Mean here is also known as an average. Here's where your notebook comes in so you can begin to take notes. Mean is also known as the average of a set of numbers. So how can you calculate the mean? First, you add all the numbers in a number set together to get the total sum. Then, divide the sum by the quantity of numbers added together. That answer is the mean. Please feel free to pause the video so that you can copy this into your notes. Using our definition of what a mean is or how to come up with the mean of a number set, we will take our three numbers and add them together. That is the sum of the numbers in our number set. However, there is another step that we need to do. We take that sum and divide it by the quantity of numbers added. We added one, two, three numbers. So we divide our answer by three. Three goes into three, one. One times three is three. Subtract zero. Zero is less than three, so I'm okay. Bring down my three. Three goes into three once. One times three is three. No remainder. My answer is 11. So the answer 
for this number set, the mean is 11. Please make sure that you copy that down into your composition notebook. If you need to rewind and watch any part of that again, please do. The next example has different numbers. 3, 10, 1, 2, 1, 3, 0, 6, and 1. Now, these are sort of in a random order. What we're going to do first is put them in a numerical number set. These numbers are now in numerical order. 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 6, and 10. Now, to find the mean, you technically do not need to put them in numerical order. However, future lessons for things that we will do, they will need to be in numerical order, so it is great to get in the practice of putting them in numerical order now. So we're going to use that number set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 numbers. Who can tell me what's the first thing we do with all of our numbers? If you said add them, you would be correct. 0 plus 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 plus 6 is 17. 17 plus 10 is 27. So the sum is 27. But I need to divide 27 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's the total number that I added together. And if we know our math facts, we'll know that 9 goes into 27 three times. 3 times 9 is 27. No remainder. So the mean is equal to 3. That's the average. If you were to uh, score zero points in one game, one point in the next game, one, one, two points, three points, three points, six points, and ten points, the average or mean score for all of your games together would be three. That's all the average is. That's all the mean is. Add the digits together, divide by the quantity, and that answer is your mean. How might mean or average work in real life? Well, let's say we have a student, Becca. Becca took three quizzes. Each was worth 10 points. Her first quiz, Becca scored a 10. Her next quiz, she got an 8. Third quiz is an 8 out of 10. And the fourth one, she earned a full 10 points. So this would be like a 1, a 2, a 2, and a 1 as far as our grading goes. So if I want to turn these into a number set, I'm going to put my curly um, brackets in numerical order. 8, 8, 10, 10. And now I have my set. If I want to find out what her grade is after all of these quizzes, I add them up. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 10, 26. 26 plus 10, 36. So she earned a total of 36 points. But Becca took four tests. 1, 2, 3, 4. Divide it by 4. Well, this one also happens to be a 9. 9 times 4. 36, no remainder. So her average score or her mean is 9. Now, even though 9 is not in the set, it averages together. So a 9 is probably about a 1 minus in, on a lot of our assignments. So she got a 2, a 2, a 1, and a 1, and it averages together to a 1 minus. So, uh, yeah, not bad, uh, not bad, Becca. But that is how one way 
that a mean or an average can be used in real life. I'm going to give you a problem to do completely on your own. Look at these numbers. Please pause the video and put these numbers into a number set. Pause it now. Your number set should look like this. There are curly brackets around the outsides of the numbers. The numbers are in order, three, four, six, seven, and there are commas between them. Please move on to the next step to solve the mean and pause the video now. What you should have done is taken all of the numbers in order and added them together for a grand total of 20. 20, however, is not the mean. It is just the sum of the numbers in the number set. Please pause the video and do the next part of the problem. Pause it now. The next part of the problem should be written as a fraction or as a division problem. The sum of 20 divided by the number 4. 4 because there are four digits that are added together. So work out this division problem to find your answer and find the mean. You may pause it now. If you did the math, you would have found that 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. 5 is then our mean. So 5 is the mean of this number set. Hopefully you did that correctly. If so, give yourself a pat on the back. Good job. So just to review, to find the mean of a set of numbers, add up all the numbers to get the total. Then divide the total by the number, by however many numbers you added. So in 4 plus 6 plus 2 plus 10 plus 8 equals 30. Five numbers were added together. You take your 30 divided by 5, the answer is 6. So 6 is the mean or average. I do note that this is not put in numerical order with a uh, set brackets around it. Please excuse that, but you should do it with yours. So your assignment that you are to work on in your math composition book or whatever it is that you're working on, I'll actually give you a close-up view of each problem. Please find the mean for the eight problems I'm about to give you, plus the challenge. Feel free to pause so that you can copy each one down as you're working on it. Here is number one. Number two. Number three. Number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and a challenge. Try the challenge. See what you can come up with for that. That is your assignment from this video lesson. Fourth level, it has gotten dark out here. It's about time for me to go inside and make my videos for fifth and sixth level. Thank you for spending this time, a meeting like this. Please understand that your teachers really wish that we were with you to give you instruction in person. Uh, but we're making the best of the situation and right now you get a little bit of a video dose of me if you are in monarch please send some personal questions if you have any to fran and she will respond to you carner blue if you have questions over this work please send your questions to me um, we will get back to you as soon as possible please check in on friday Starting Friday, there will be an answer video in which I will go over the work that I've just assigned and we'll see how you do. 
Please send your responses in a private message to your teachers and let them know how you've done. So we will be in interested and anxious to see how you did with our first assigned work online. Please remember, go through the packet, work on that assigned work as well. And until next time, we hope that you and your family are doing well, making the best of this situation, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Here is where... Hi, dog. Here is where... Um, Here is where I have no idea what I was saying. Here is where what?